show of hands, who here is outside of uh, is here from outside of the U.S.? Oh, that's quite, quite the international crew. So, do you feel like in your respective countries, healthcare is uh, simple? <laughs> wow. Okay. I thought at least a couple of hands would go up to say uh, we've got it nailed in our country and it's all set. Uh, well, at least here, I think the consensus is uh, uh, in the U.S. that healthcare is complex, it's expensive, uh, it's not affordable, uh, and we've got work to do. So everything from, from making an appointment to uh, getting information about our health history to, to getting to see a, a doc, uh, making an appointment uh, chronically, uh, all of those things are complex and, and hard to, to navigate. Um, and then um, you've heard just before me, I was just watching backstage, uh, digital humans, AI, uh, humans that are uh, virtually undetectable from, um, you know, sort of digital humans. So if you take all of that technology, all of those uh, exponential changes that are happening, and you introduce that into a system that's not, um, it's not simple, I think we risk uh, increasing the complexity without thinking about the, the human-centered design aspects and the implications of what we're about to do. So what I would like to do is just remind us that at the end of the day, for the people that uh, the US healthcare system works, it works because of the people. And so how do we design then a system that leverages the strengths of the people that passionately care about the people that they're, they're caring for and infuse them with technology that helps them support that? So take a look. I think we were having uh, some sound issues, but, but there you go. sickness progressed quickly, and it was to the point where he needed to be on the heart transplant list. When Galen made the decision to receive the LVAD device, things moved pretty quickly. I went into surgery at the LVAD, and once I came out of rehab and went home, everything was completely different. And then we had to start working on his weight. Our staff go above and beyond to assist the families that they work with. And we support them in ways that other agencies do not. They need to be able to get to the doctor's appointment. They need to be able to get to grocery shopping. Do you call your insurance company for that? I honestly believe I might have to be the luckiest child alive. See, so you missed the beginning of that, but essentially uh, it's this kid, Galen, uh, that been to the ER 11 times. First of all, you know, how come a kid had to go to the ER 11 times before uh, we detected that uh, you know he was at risk for cardiac heart failure and given three days to live. That's when you know one of our um, care managers at Anthem jumped in and said, you know, how do we sort of rectify the situation? Uh, got him the care that it, that he needed and got him on the right track. So what it took was really at the end of the day a human connection to make make all of this work for for Galen. And uh, our philosophy at Anthem is is how do we uh, enable uh, all of the care that uh, Galen needs, but also enable our teams to have the right technology to be able to provide that. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, what we have to do is make sure that our future is one where care is affordable, where it's accessible, and most of all, it's simple. So any of us here with all the solutions that we saw can make, make this situation more complex. Uh, the, the harder thing to do would be to, to create simplicity out of this, right? So for any problem, I think there is a simple solution. Now, the distance between the, 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 that problem and that simple solution, I think, is shrouded in mystery. And so we have to make, demystify this in order to unlock the simplicity of what we're, how we deliver care. And that, in essence, is, is Anthem strategy and how we pull all this together. So to do that, we're going to have um, to leverage uh, platforms. And platforms have changed the world. Um, all of you know this. So whether it's shopping and whether it's uh, drones delivering um, you know, things that you've thought about buying, not yet bought, or you know, booking a hotel room in any part of the world through um, a company that doesn't ha have any hotel rooms, or ordering a car at the click of a button. All of those things have been enabled by the power of platforms. Right? So they've been able to connect data, AI, personalization, and all of the technology advances into a platform and then connect it into, into users. So the more users use their platforms, the richer the platform gets, the more personal it gets, and the easier it gets to use, and the simpler it gets. The question is, how do we do that for health? 
And so for Anthem, this is what we're trying to do, which is be the first healthcare platform company so that we can take all of this innovation, harness it, so that we can create simple, easy-to-use solutions for our end consumers. And that's what's missing today is, is the way in which all of the innovation that happens here, getting that connected into what needs to happen for consumers. So that's the goal. We're on our way. You know, so we've created a set of solutions for uh, simplifying uh, the fact, you know, for instance, uh, having all of our medical information available to consumers. Uh, which, you know, surprisingly is hard to do, right? So Israel's got, you know, years in front of us, and we've still got a ways to do. So number one, we said, let's take all of our claims history, all of our electronic medical records, all of our lab data, and increasingly the, the sensor data that, that we are now starting to collect, put it all uh, in one place and make it accessible to, to end consumers, and make that data their own. So it starts with that simple, pre uh, simple premise, which is uh, have consumers own their data. And then build the solutions around it. So, so make connecting that into providers easy to do. Um, you know, make that data available to their employers if that's uh, that's appropriate, and have that all sort of be governed by a master sort of privacy and security framework. So that's what um, this platform is intended to do. Uh, and then leverage that then to to connect it into all of the innovations that that are happening here at Expansion Medicine, all the wonderful uh, startups and uh, other companies that presented solutions that make sense. Uh, in a particular context. But how do you stream that effectively into a connected ecosystem for consumers who then can, can leverage it holistically? And then, by the way, we can't forget the fact that providers are going to need the same thing, so doctors and hospital systems that are part of the Anthem network are going to have to see the same solutions, the flip side of that. Uh, employers that are designing benefits need to be able to see the same thing. And then ultimately, um, communities, which are part of our, our fabric, uh, need to have access to the same capabilities. So we see our strategy as being building a platform that connects all of the, uh, the changes that are happening, all of the advances uh, from an exponential technology perspective into the platform, connect it, give it, give it to consumers. And in so doing, uh, make sure that the activation happens with employers, with communities, with doctors, so that we can collectively um, lift the healthcare system and make it simpler. Uh, to that end, uh, we're introducing a brand new app it's called uh, CareSpree. You can uh, download and use it. Uh, we have a promo code for you. If you stop by our, our booth uh, in, the, in the lab, uh, we'll get you uh, set up with uh, uh, you know, uh, free access for, for a few days. Uh, but here's what it does. So let's say you have a set of symptoms. Uh, we have an AI capability that triages those symptoms and funnels it down to, to say, other people that have had similar symptoms like you and uh, the actions that they've taken that could result um, in the resolution of whatever symptoms you've had. Uh, let's say that doesn't work. Then you have the ability to text a doc, email a doc, or uh, do a telemedicine visit. And if none of those things work, uh, we also have the option of um, going to a marketplace and saying, I need a primary care visit or I need a, a visit for whatever the symptoms are that, that we triaged. And then you'd be simply able to select that service, schedule an appointment, pay for it, show up, and have a very retail-like experience, and ultimately uh, make it simple. Uh, so uh, check it out. Uh, tell us what you think. We're always interested in your feedback, and we'd love to hear back from you. Uh, it's just, just one step uh, in our journey. Uh, it's, it's a long way to go in, in simplifying health. Uh, but in thinking of our journey as a platform that connects this, e uh, that connects this integrated ecosystem into something cohesive and simple for consumers, I think we can get there. Thank you.